Eugene's new skate park opens under the Washington Jefferson Street Bridge this weekend. People have been using it since April 7. They say this is one of the nicest parks on the whole West Coast. We'll tell you more about that and a lot more on Rick Dancer TV coming up in just a minute. I'm not dead. That sounds like something interesting. Alright, the park, uh, this is a great park. I've skated um, all, my whole life and this is probably the nicest park I've ever been to. The vibe down here is really cool. Everyone's really respectful. Um, and it's, it's open 24-7. You can skate it in the rain, skate it at night. Um, it's just a really cool thing to have in Eugene. And I'm, oh sure, I never came down here before. Um, I have two kids. My wife always told me to keep away from this place. Um, but once it's open, it, it's, to me, it's great. You get a lot of spectators. I've never seen so many spectators in a park before when it's crowded. Uh, I've seen a couple guys from Portland. I think Wednesday there was a magazine down here called Low Card. They were filming, photographers everywhere, so it's happening for sure. We are told not to stare. All they see is just my face. We look away because we don't know what else to do. They just see my face. They can tell. We make assumptions, assumptions that can make Amelia Abel and others like her feel unimportant, forgotten, even invisible. I do matter. Gentle, gentle. Good job. It's awesome. No, I've been here for almost for 40 years now. See that? Want to try that? Amelia Abel works at the Sheldon Daycare. I've been working with two to five year old kids. No, they really don't understand that I have a, I mean, they think that I'm just a regular person. Amelia is a person, a person with abilities and strengths. Being here for the last couple of years now here, many parents are just admiring me and how good with them, with her kids. Visit, ship on the. Full Access assists Amelia by teaching her to cook, to shop, and to manage her money. With the agency's help, Amelia can live on her own, get from place to place by herself. I will, thanks. And she recently became a member of the Downtown Eugene Lions Club. But to understand Amelia and all she's capable of, you must first look her in the eye. I have it on good authority that Lion Amelia is very, very good about talking about the lions. At 22, Amelia understands she has a place. She speaks out on behalf of Look Me in the Eye and the rights of all people, including people with disabilities. I'm a normal girl, basically. I'm a normal girl, like other, other girl or woman out there just want to have the same freedom for everyone. My friend Marilyn, wonderful person. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> She's very happy. She's very smart. She wants to learn everything. She, she wants to um, go and be a part of everything. And she wants to go with these people every day. Go and see and learn and be a part of the world outside of a, sh a sheltered, a wonderful sheltered home that she lived in. Marilyn moved into the Oregon Supported Living Program home a few years ago at the age of 61. Marilyn stayed home with mom and dad for most of your life. Marilyn worked at LCC for 37 years. She didn't know if she would have a life. She'd have a life when mom and dad died. Now she knows she has a life here, and that's really exciting. People with disabilities are oftentimes overlooked or marginalized. If you don't look them in the eye, you can't communicate. Communication is a part of, 
uh, looking at somebody and getting to know who that person is. And everybody deserves that. Do you matter, Marilyn? Do you matter? <laughs> Marilyn is important. Marilyn is important. And, Mar and Marilyn has a lot to give and to teach people. People are important. People do matter. Productivity is measured not in what you get done, but in how you do it. Everybody's important. <laughs> she's, she's a part of our community. Including Amelia, Marilyn, and others like them in our community is so important for them and for us. If you ask her staff, they will tell you they're learning from Marilyn. Marilyn's the teacher. I think it's important just to give out the message to people. Kids, parents, just to know, know that everyone has their own unique ways. But that's not mean they're different. It means that this is the way that who they are. The toughest moment of the day is the one right before your body hits the cold water. You didn't have to get up. No one needs to spend an hour swimming laps in a pool at this time of day. The water is like mud as you move it, you pull it, you push it, propelling yourself through it. And when you're finished, your body exhausted, there's only one way to give back what you gave. Lock made reduced fat or non-fat chocolate milk. Recovery. It doesn't get any better than this. I've always loved baking and so I just decided to start baking and selling it out of my home. Started baking bread and started selling it one day a week down here in Cresswell at the Grange. So we used to do just kind of pan loaves, which like your sandwich loaves and a few whole wheat sourdoughs. And now we've evolved to danishes, pretzels, muffins, uh, bagels. One of the flowers that we use in most of our breads and pastries are local flowers. Um, if they're not local, they're organic, unbleached, unbromated. I, I just have always felt like if you start with good product, you're going to end up with good product on the other end. I've always loved the smell of yeast rising. It's one of my favorite things in the world. <laughs> Mixing dough and feeling dough and watching it proof and rise and bake. and It's just really satisfying to take some really basic ingredients like flour and water and salt and make bread. So we do pizza, wood-fired pizza. We have a wood-fired oven that we have on a trailer that we built on a trailer and um, it sits out front of our building and on Friday nights in the summertime we do wood-fired pizza. Our crust is made with all the local wheat from Junction City, so it's actually a whole wheat crust, but you probably would never know it if I didn't tell you. <laughs> and then, you know, it's serious pizza. We make the sausage from scratch, and all the vegetables are from local farms. The Thursday night dinners are weekly changing menu. Um, they're set each week, and um, the menus are very seasonally driven and also kind of driven by what our farm has because our farm raises all of our own meats, so our beef and our uh, chicken and a pretty large percentage of our pork. So we've taken this building in downtown Cresswell and just kind of revived it and then on the outside we're you know, getting all this edible landscaping and we're getting it just feeling like a community space and where people can come and gather and 
just I want people to be able to come in and get good food and good bread and then also while they're here hey let's pick up a chicken that was raised on the farm right here right down the road and so it'll eventually be some kind of a little mini kind of market but uh, kind of a front end for our farm but also for the bakery yes. it's just kind of a little happy community gathering space where you can come down and have pizza on a Friday night and dinner on Thursday and breakfast on Saturday morning <laughs> My favorite thing? Oh, that's like asking a parent which one of their children is their favorite. I don't know. I I can't even answer that question fairly. We're a little old country town. About. 1,700 people. Everybody seems to know everybody else. Uh, you know everybody else's business, perhaps. Or perhaps not. The week of August 18, 2013, a kidnapping took place near Brownsville, Oregon. Missing? Aretha, a well-known community figure. So as the local newspaper, what, what do you guys know about this, this kidnapping in Brownsville? Well, it was pretty horrible when we first learned about it. We thought that you know, in our small community, that kind of thing really doesn't happen. But it did, and it's been a shock to everybody. Dairy Mart is like the town square. Are you having a good day? It is a great day. Somebody nice has Perfect. had to have said something. I heard about it just about a month ago. Did you guys hear about the kidnapping? Yeah, we did. Everyone's yeah, talking about it. The whole town heard about it. You know, you walk down the street and people say, well, hey, have you heard about the kidnapping? The owners. Especially now that the posters are up. I mean, they're all over town. Mothers don't let their kids go outside. Huh. Nobody even knew she was gone. Yeah, you know what? I can't believe anybody would do that. You know, that's just really, really low. And we'd hate to think that anybody in our community would be guilty of such a heinous crime. Okay, so you're a reporter. Yes. What have you What have you found out about this kidnap victim? Well, I, I didn't really know about it until fairly recently, which means the trail is pretty cold. So what happened in this quiet little town? Why has it taken a year for this information of Aretha's kidnapping to turn up? One day, it's a quiet, peaceful place to live. The next day, posters turn up and people are talking. Aretha, she came to us years ago. We did a little digging. As it turns out, Aretha is a longtime employee of Lockmead Farms. She's been a part of the uh, of the gang of girls out there for many years. Lockmead hasn't said much publicly about the abduction, concerned more about Aretha's safe return. She's been out in the public for years and uh, never had any problem. But people are starting to hear things, grumblings, possible sightings. You know, as being a body shop, we thought maybe there was a body around here, but we couldn't find nothing, and we've looked all morning long. No, nothing. As a news guy, are you just milking this story for everything yes. it's worth, oh, Don? Yeah. Huh? Is that yes. what you're doing? Yes. yes, I am. I must admit it. Lockmead simply decided it had to go public. So you guys are you're at the country, the Willamette Country Music Festival right. in Brownsville. Yeah. It was the last night of the Willamette Country Music Festival. People were cleaning up, folks were leaving, and something happened. I was out back um, by the truck just putting stuff away when the gentleman next door at the booth comes running and says, hey, somebody just took your cow. Wow. Aretha is one of three fiberglass cows owned by Lockmead Farms. It, you know, I took the better of the two out there, too. Her sister, who you see right here, and whose name and whereabouts remain a secret for obvious reasons, is an exact double. Notice that um, the cow is going through the crowd, almost basically by itself, it looks like. We were running after it, and we finally we see these couple guys carrying the cow. We uh, yell at them to, to drop the cow, they do, we grab it, bring it back. Later that night, someone returns with a truck, talks to security, posing as a Lockmead employee. You know, last night, um, 
There was a gentleman from Lockmead came by and um, said he wanted to take the cow. And um, so he put it in the truck and took off with it. So what does this mean to your family? Kurt's right here. In all seriousness, someone did take Aretha the fiberglass cow. Lockmead wants her back and is offering a reward for her return. No questions asked. I'm hoping our posters out there will do some good. Somebody see had to see this. Oh, they had to have seen it. You know, a, you're lot leaving the... a lot of people had to have seen it. Right. We've set up a hotline to get your tips. You can call 541-991-8790 or findingaretha.eugenedailynews.com. We want to hear from you. We want her back. She's missed, and uh, we would very much like to get her back. surgery, burn patients, accidents. Janice Strassheim is a pioneer in the hair loss industry. Any kind of hair loss, cranial scarring, male or female pattern hair loss. Mirage Hair Systems helps people living with alopecia. We try to make everyone look as natural as possible. Um, I don't want to see any of my clients around town looking wiggy, so um, that's not what we offer here at Mirage. Mirage Hair System is not a wig shop. Mirage provides high quality hair systems and products. This is a cap, unlike a wig. It's not sewn wefts of hair that are very itchy and they were made primarily for theatrical. Um, this is made of mesh and um, very soft um, spandex with medical grade silicone on the parameter and on the nape of the neck. And this stays on with your body heat. From full systems to partial hair loss, scarring, and even hair extensions, Jana is all about restoring hair loss no matter how it happens. Forty years ago, it started to thin. But it wasn't until the past eight years that I almost felt, I mean, I was always trying to cover up the thinness. Sheila has male pattern baldness and visits Mirage Hair Systems for regular maintenance. Hair is a big issue. I imagine it is for a guy too. But I always had gorgeous hair. And to lose it like that, I never dreamed that that would happen to me. Jana is medically certified and recognized for the work she does with very difficult cases. I went more for the medical end of the hair um, loss and hair replacement. So I have extensive training and certification in medical grade adhesives, the study of hair, um, and how we can help people. This brings back her self-esteem and just look at that smile. When the doctor and their nurses know that this is here, we can help more people. Mirage stays on top of the latest research and uses all natural and medical grade products. If a client has undergone chemo, that chemo is in the dermis layers of the skin. So we want to get that in the epidermis layers, which are your outermost layers of skin. I have a special shampoo that helps get that medicine out of the system and your hair growing back sooner. Because of Jana's certifications and known expertise, some insurance companies cover products and treatments offered at Mirage Hair Systems. And you can shower and swim and shampoo, everything just like you would your own hair. And the nice thing about this is um, it looks like your own scalp. From devastating hair loss to disease or treating a disease to patchy hair loss or thinning in both men and women, Mirage Hair Systems understands. I came in here and the first time she put it on, I went around and said, this is how I was always supposed to look. Mirage Hair Systems offers hope. 
it was like a whole new world. I mean, I feel like a different person. Mirage Hair Systems restores beauty on the outside. I'm so much more confident and I just feel better about myself. So you can better show what's on the inside. You need your window replaced, you pick up your phone and call your insurance company. The majority of the time, the 800 number is sometimes you're not talking to actually the insurance company. Okay, John, then who am I talking with? You're talking to a glass company that has been hired by the insurance company to do the billing for them. Oh, so that's why they try to steer me to their company. Obviously, some of those uh, uh, companies, they have their own shops. They try to send you that direction. Most people don't know. So now you know, choose A1, where doing the right thing still matters. What I love about this business is the people. I'm a people person, so I love to interact with people, and I love to make people feel good. So one of the ways, you know, is obviously with food, you know, because when people taste something that is really good, and really authentic, you know, and have a really good service, you know, they feel good. What I will tell you, you know, about our food is that we prepare everything from scratch. So we make sure we hire people that have the passion for making food. That's one of the ingredients. The other one, we make sure that our recipes, they use the ingredients that we tell them to use. So we make our food from scratch, and people that we have as an employee, that they really care about how the, the, the food tastes. So they make sure that it's really good, authentic Mexican food. People love the way the food tastes. They cannot find, you know, this kind of taste, you know, in town. You know, even though it's a Mexican restaurant and the menu can be similar to so-and-so, you know, but when they taste the food, they can tell the difference. You know, there's something in it that they cannot tell what it is, but it's uh, more flavorful, you know, more, I'm very confident on, on our food, you know, because we eat it every day and we don't get tired. Boys will be boys. When boys engage in bad behavior or do something mean, or they punch each other or they get into a fight, we say boys will be boys. So what are we telling our, our little boys and our young men? And our We're excusing it. Instead of, again, engaging in what's respectful, that's not okay. I, I think we have to have a standard of what's acceptable and just because of someone's gender doesn't excuse them fighting or being mean. Um, and I think it sets our boys up that the popular boys, the big boys, the, the ones that are behaving badly, sometimes are the ones that kids are also looking up to. They're the tough guys. Everyone wants to be the tough guys. And we're setting them up. We tell them that if they are gentle in that, that somehow that that's not the right way to be. So when we tell boys will be boys, I mean, what a setup. A couple of years ago, we did a story with John Michael, the former owner of Mazama Sporting Goods. He took me out and blindfolded me, and we went out shooting, so I want to show you the story. But I need to tell you, Mazama has a new owner. It's a friend of John's, and they have a new location. They're out on Bailey Hill Road. Take a look at the story. This is John Maiko, president of Mazama Sporting Goods. Mazama sells handguns, rifles, ammo scopes, even pink guns for the ladies. John Maiko is a friend of mine. At least, I thought he was a friend. I went looking for a gun and... So Rick, have you ever even fired a gun before? Well, yeah, a couple times. I mean, a few times. My kid's got a gun. No, I mean really fired one. You mean like a bunch of guns? Yeah, like a bunch of guns. No. Okay, well, come on. We're going to go and try some of these out. Can I, can I trust you? Absolutely. We'll have a certified firearms instructor with us. Okay, let's... What are, you, what are you doing? We're going to take you to an undisclosed location for this. You're going to blindfold me to go fire guns? I have to. You're Rick Dancer. You're going to talk. This all seems a bit over the top, but I'm not a gun guy, so I'm going to play along. Where are we going anyway? 
At the top, Azama employee and firearms instructor Joe Short joins us with a stockpile of guns. This is a very common rifle. It was built in 1894. Actually, probably 1893 went into production in 1894, and they're still making it. Wow, this guy knows what he's talking about. So you could use this for shooting? For shooting bear, cougar, uh, deer, elk, um, just about anything that's, that's out there that you can eat. Rack the lever. It's nice to find people who don't just stand behind a counter and try to sell you a gun. And pull it again. You know, Mazama, we're a local store. We've been in the community at, out at the Valley River Mall for almost 40 years and grab the ammunition from here and load it this way, because it's too hard. It's nice to find people who actually use what they sell. The guys that work at Mazama, they shoot guns. You said you wanted bigger. <laughs> we produced for you. Oh, that is so awesome. Okay, finger off the trigger, rack the round out of the chamber. Give me another one of those. <laughs> He's hooked. We're behind it. Don't stop the gun. Keep the gun moving and pull the trigger as you pass through the bird. Ah. Holy crap! <laughs> Keep it pointed down range. Keep it pointed down range. There I you do. go. <laughs> Times are changing, Rick. You know, it's just things are getting to where people aren't as afraid of guns as they used to be. Guns had a bad rap for many years because bad things were being done with guns. We had a good day. Everything was fine. If only I hadn't opened my big mouth. Oh, jeez. So John, I, you know, I think I've been here before. I think we came out here looking for Christmas trees one time. I, I think I know where we are. Really? Yeah, yeah. No, it's okay though, I'm not gonna say anything. I, I'm not gonna tell anybody. Well, you do have those 6,000 Facebook friends. I know how you like to talk. Yeah, but I'm not gonna tell them. I mean, you see what I, well, I'm not gonna tell them. Do you still have that blindfold? Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's fine, I, but I'm not gonna really say anything. I mean, it's like, you know, I, I, I do know where kind of where we're at, and it's, I mean, we came up here, I think it was, I think it was for Christmas trees or something, but you know. John! Wait! John! So if you're in the market for a video, Rick Dancer Media Services, we create long format videos, shorter videos, YouTube videos, website videos. What we specialize in is telling your story. And we do it with heart, we do it with passion. Sometimes we do it and make it just a little wacky. It's whatever you want. But give us a call to find out more about our services and what we offer. My phone number is right here on the screen, 541-232-3143, or go to rickdancer.com or rickdancertv. Than mine. Well, I guess that wraps things up pretty close to Things didn't quite turn out like they're supposed to Who could weather all the weed and exposed to All I know is what we right now Oh,